Hello and welcome to eBay with Chris. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use eBay's bulk shipping tool. I don't know about you, but when I was first started, uh, I was only shipping you know, one or two items a day and it wasn't a big deal to just print them individually, to print each label individually. But once I started getting more sales, you know, three, four, five, six, you know, I, I had to learn how to do bulk shipping labels. And I found the bulk shipping tool and I'm gonna show you how to use that today. So eBay's bulk shipping tool will work if you're printing your labels on a continuous uh, label printer or if you're printing on a uh, paper printer, like an inkjet printer. So um, I started out in my business just printing using my regular office paper printer that I had for years, and I bought these um, label sheets. They had uh, two labels per sheet and I was printing my um, labels on those sheets and then uh, peeling them off and sticking them onto the package. And then after roughly nine months in the business, uh, I decided to upgrade and I finally bought a continuous um, label printer, you know, that prints on continuous rolls of labels. And that's what I have right now. It works for both pieces of equipment, and I'm gonna show you in this process where you can change it from uh, one type of label to the other type of label. Here we go. Okay, so there, there are a couple of different ways to get to the bulk shipping tool. I'm gonna show you one way, and then I'm gonna show you my preferred way, which is much quicker, I think. So uh, here, let me go ahead and uh, zoom in here. Um, and here I am on uh, my seller hub. I'm going to go up here to orders and then scroll down to shipping labels. Click on that. Then it'll give you everything that you have on order that needs to get shipped out. And there's this message right here. Do you have more orders waiting shipment? Use the bulk shipping tool and you can go ahead and click on that. And that takes you to the bulk late to the buy labels and bulk tool right here. This is the page you want to be on. Let me show you the other method, the method that I prefer. Okay, so once again, we are back at the seller hub and I'm going to go ahead and go down here to tasks. Let me uh, zoom in here on the mouse. I'm going to go down here to tasks where it says print sh labels and ship. I can go ahead and click on that or I can go over here to the number 17, which is highlighted in red. Real easy for me to click on that and I go there. This gives you uh, the screen that says manage orders awaiting shipment. You can see right here I have 17 orders awaiting shipment. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit right here. What I want to do is I want to make sure that everything is sorted by custom label SKU because I want my labels to print out in the same, in that order. I want them to print out in the order of the custom label SKU because I pull my orders in that same order. <laughs> I, I pull the customer orders by the custom label SKU. So they're all in order that way. And if the labels are in the same order, it makes it really quick and simple to package everything up. So I verify that it's sorted by custom label SKU and you can see you can sort it by buyer, custom label SKU, total date paid. And then all I do is I click over, I go over here and I click this button here, which highlights all of the orders that I have. Let's scroll down real quick and just all the orders I have and each uh, item is highlighted all right then once you've clicked all the orders you're gonna go here to shipping you're gonna click the arrow right here the arrow down and you're gonna click get shipping label and look where it took you right to the buy labels in bulk screen and that's where you want to go very simple okay now at this point, you can go down and you can make changes to any one of these labels individually. For example, sometimes, I don't know if you've had this experience, I've had someone that said, oh no, I ordered it and um, it's going to my old address, I forgot to change it, can you change it to this address? And I'll do that for them. I know some people don't wanna do that, but I'll do that typically for them and that's where I, I can do it right here. Like I can go to this order right here for um, this customer, click edit, and then I can go in and change the address and all the information right here. And it will change the actual shipping label, but it won't change it in the system. So sometimes the customer will say, hey, you shipped it to the wrong place. And I'll say no, and I'll show them a, uh, 
a copy of the shipping label so that, you know, a screenshot of the shipping label so that, that they know I did their request. So anyways, you can go ahead and edit any of the items in here for each individual um, uh, customer. You know, you got the ship from address, the return address, all the information that's in here. Then you have, uh, of course, the information on the item itself. We already looked at editing the, um, the address. You can also edit um, this section right here. You can select a different kind. You can select uh, UPS, FedEx, USPS. Of course, I have ground advantage right there, so you can change that if you want. You can edit any of the information for the weight and the dimensions. Edit your insurance coverage right here. And uh, yeah, pretty much everything, anything you want to edit. Uh, let me go ahead and click on these just to see if there's anything different in here. Uh, Non-hazardous materials, service, declared value, ship insurance, signature, you know. Um, oh, add text on label. So I have this set up to print. It should say skew, item label skew. Sometimes I don't know why it changes that. Item label skew. And I want this to apply to all the selected labels. So I might have to actually select them all here and do that again. I'm going to scroll down to another one because I need to print the SKU on there. Okay. Here it says item title SKU, and it's going to print my SKU number on the label itself, which is super helpful. Um, and that's how I match up the SKU number on the item itself with the SKU number on the label to make sure I'm putting uh, the right item in the package with the right label. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and review everything. I'm just going to scroll down just to make sure that I have everything as ground advantage and the prices make sense. Like here, I'm char getting charged $509. The buyer paid $595. It's ground advantage. They paid $666. I'm paying $666. The buyer is paying $725. Buyer paid four ninety five. I'm paying four sixty two. Ground advantage, ground advantage, eight thirty five compared to eleven ninety five. So I just go in and check every single item here. Ground advantage five thirty nine six twenty five. If there's any discrepancies, um, then I will fix it. Oh, speaking of one right here. So ground advantage. Um, I'm paying eight eighty two to ship this item out. The buyer only paid four ninety five. So probably what happened here is that this listing was set up as a less than eight ounces, zero to eight ounces. That's why it's 495, but actually it weighs one pound, four ounces. So it was just the wrong uh, flat rate shipping was selected in this listing. So I'm going to eat um, roughly mm, almost $4. Sheesh, that's going to hurt. That's a big mistake. It doesn't happen too much, but occasionally it does happen. 791, 945. 666, 725, 835, 995, 835 again, 845, 835 again, 945. I'm making up for that $4 loss with some of these other items. 835, 945, 526, 625, 462, 495. 556, 625, 454, zero dollars. This um, pair of sunglasses was uh, priced at, you know, $99. They probably got it cheaper for that. Uh, but I have a special anything on my website that's more than $50, then they get free shipping. Uh, 462 on this one and 665, again, UPS ground advantage. All right, so I'm ready to go ahead and purchase it. Okay, then once you've reviewed everything, you can go ahead and click Review Purchase. It's going to pull up a summary here. And once again, you can uh, scroll down and look to make sure everything is ground advantage over here. And just double check prices and whatnot. I'm going to pay a total of $111.50. Now, this is really important right here. This is where you change your paper size right here. 
So you click change paper size. You can see I currently have it as four by six, which is for my uh, label printer. That's the size I want, but you can change your paper size right here. Here's your drop down. You can do a uh, letter. So you have one label per sheet. You can see in this picture right here, let me go ahead and zoom in. You can see in this picture right here, it's showing basically one label per sheet. The other option is two labels per sheet. And you can see in the picture right here, it gives you two labels per sheet. That's if you're printing on like an inkjet printer or something like that. And you have those um, sheets, those label sheets. That's perfect for that. Select this, two labels per sheet. And then uh, four by six is what I use for my printer. You can also do a two by seven, which seems really small. Um, but I'm choosing four by six because that's what I have. So four by six, I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right. And then once again, that was right here, four by six, change paper size. The next thing you need to do is just confirm and pay. Okay. So once you've confirmed and paid, it takes you to this bulk labels or buy labels in bulk page. And uh, it gives you this um, confirmation right here. It says 17 labels have been successfully generated and are ready to print. And if you want, you can go ahead and scroll down to see all the orders. All the information is right here. So once again, if you have any questions while you're shipping, everything is sitting right here on this screen. And you can go ahead and just double check and make sure that you're putting the right uh, item with the right label. Sometimes I have to use it, but usually I, I don't need to. But the final thing you need to do is go ahead and print those labels out. So you can just click right here, print labels. And it will take you to your print screen. So here's the label printer that I currently use. I bought this a year ago in October of 2023, and it has worked great for me. It's the Jaden's printer. You can see Amazon currently has it on, on sale for $79. I think I probably paid $90 for it, so not too much more, but it's a great deal right now. Get yourself an early Christmas present and get yourself one of these uh, uh, thermal printers. If you don't have one yet, they are awesome and uh I did a bunch of research and I thought this was the cheapest one that had great reviews. As you can see, 6,400 uh, reviews um, and it has worked great for me. So I have a link in uh, the notes below. Check it out. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if it was, please like it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. <laughs> also, if you want to know about some of the other equipment that I use in my business, I do have links in uh, the notes below. And if you want to say, hey, Chris, this is great content. I really appreciate it. You, and you want to buy me a cup of coffee, I would appreciate that too. Uh, you could do that by clicking on the buy me a cup of coffee link in the notes below. And finally, if you want to check out some of my other videos, go ahead and click on this video right here. I think YouTube is uh, recommending that to you. So enjoy, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.